It looks like if, hmm, if Silent Bob gave up, I guess, I don't know. Please clap your hands for Kyle Adams! Yeah! Sorry, I didn't make fun of you. Jesus Christ, Silent Bob gave up. I thought he already gave up. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Sitting on a stool is better than sitting in a stool. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm doing both. <laughs> Woo! Uh, where to begin? Where to begin? Um, so Modest Mouse has a new video out, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's on TriMet. It's pretty fucking sweet. What? Yeah, it's uh, filmed on TriMet, and they just have a coyote. It's literally a coyote for three minutes riding TriMet in an empty Portland and just showing the city. It's fucking insane. It's, it's weird. I don't know when they shut down the city. <laughs> to fucking have, and they even have a coyote running across um, Pioneer Square. It was, it was weird. Anyways, um, they came through a while back and um, I was trying to get tickets um, when they came to the Crystal Ballroom and I was looking through all the lists and I was looking through the M's. I couldn't find their show because the tickets had sold out so fast. And I was looking through all the shows that were coming through Portland. I was looking at the M's, and um, I saw Menopause the Musical was coming in. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, motherfucker, it will make a musical out of anything, literally. It's ridiculous. What, what is Menopause the Musical? I'm cold, I'm hot, I don't know what I've got. It's Menopause. <laughs> I saw... I don't understand. Do you, do you, does anybody like dig musicals in here? There's like one chick in here. Like, I, okay, okay, musicals. Yeah, woo, whatever. It, I understand they're like they're blind optimism. Woo. Um, I just it, it comes down to movies and the the way I can enjoy movies is if there's a good suspension of disbelief. You know, like there's a there's a a realistic suspension of disbelief. I feel like you know in in most movies I, I'm. I, I kind of let let it go, you know, a little bit like Back to the Future is a good example, you know. Um, a uh, teenage kid who's still in high school um, knows this old man, and uh, he has a very novelty car, a DeLorean, and it goes back in time with uh, plutonium and uh, gigawatts, nuclear power. I don't know what the symbol <laughs> the symbolism is there, but you know there's something there. You know, I, you know, it's, it makes enough sense to me. I can go, okay, I'll, I'll roll with this. You know, um, Spider Man. Uh, Peter Parker is bit by a radioactive spider. He grows pubes on his fingers, and then all of a sudden he can climb on walls, even though he's wearing a costume that blocks, you know, <laughs> the, the hairs. Which obviously the hairs are what do it. Um, but I can believe that as well. You know, that's not that's not that far of a stretch for me. But I will never understand or be able to suspend my disbelief enough to believe that a person will start singing and all of their friends will know the lyrics to the song. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more, did he have a big cock? <laughs> How do you know the words of this fucking song? I just came up with it. Uh, you know, speaking of vaginas, menopause, the musical, um, I've heard it been told that the vagina is nature's Rubik's Cube. But, you know, I never got blood on my sheets playing with a Rubik's Cube, you guys. Uh, yeah, delayed reactions, woo! So, I'm from Florida, I'm not originally from um, Oregon, so uh, you guys don't fucking know. <laughs> if you're native, you don't know what's going on. If you haven't been down there, it's, it's a different jungle down there. Holy shit. A lot of people um, love just fucking hanging out in the pool all day in, in Florida because it's just so fucking hot. Just a pool all day. They're chlorinated assholes, you know? Speaking of chlorinated assholes, I think if I ever go back to Florida, which I probably won't, but if I do, I will start the, um, the first joint um, anal bleaching and tanning salon in one. <laughs> And I'm gonna call it Beached Butthole Beach Tanning Salon. <laughs> Bleached Butthole Beach Tanning Salon. And um, I've got a really nifty jingle. That's all I've got so far for a concept, but I mean, I, I've seen businesses built on less. <laughs> and you guys wanna hear my jingle for Bleached Butthole Beach Tanning Salon? Yes. All right. Come on down to Bleached Butthole Town. We'll turn your brown pots white and your white pots 
bro. Um, yeah, I, I moved here. I moved here. I've been here about three years now. This place is amazing. You know, we're like fucking kids in Neverland, following our dreams. Woo! <laughs> following my dreams. Ugh. It's too bad that my fucking job crushes my soul every single day. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only time I'm truly alive. <laughs> um, I work at a very corporate restaurant. I'm gonna call it Blue Buzzard for legal purposes. Hush, hush. <laughs> and we have refillable potatoes. You can have as many potatoes as you like. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> um, I, uh, it, it, it's, it's one of those places where it's like you get one of those uh, cards where, um, they, uh, they give you points for coming in, you know, and it's called royalty. And it's like, are you fucking kidding? They, it's like, they already treat us like shit. You're gonna fucking, you know, add the, the term royalty to it. It's like, what are we, the fucking serfs? This is ridiculous. It's like, we don't, and we get stiff so often there. You know, I got stiffed by a guy named Ronald today, and I was thinking about it. I say, you know what? I, I don't even think Ronald is really a fucking name. When did we start? That's not a biblical name. Where did Ronald come from? I, I feel like Ronald is more, more like an adjective describing surprise butt sex. Like, I'm walking down the street, you guys, and uh, these ruffians came around the corner, and they held me down, and they Ronald me. It was awful. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm laughing at that. <laughs> I'm already on the healing. I'm, in, I'm going through the healing process. So, Hey, thank you very much, guys. That's my time. My name is Kyle Adams. Keep it going for Kyle Adams. Yeah. We talked about shady jobs. He has one. That's progress. 